Good evening, an infamous New Mexico prison gang is now in the crosshairs of the FBI. Federal agents say a five-year investigation shows Sindicato de Nuevo Mexico members are reorganizing and going after informants and federal agents and prosecutors. News 13's Brittany Bade has that story. Dean and Jess, the FBI raided six different homes in Albuquerque last night, and we have learned that search spread to six other cities throughout the day, targeting homes in Santa Fe, Las Vegas, Española, and Wagon Mount. Federal agents are searching for any evidence to help lock up key members of the violent prison gang, SNM. Cool up here, man. A gang that started after the deadly 1980 Santa Fe prison riot is only growing in numbers and boldness. A just unsealed federal search warrant lays out how federal agents say leaders of the Sindicato de Nuevo Mexico prison gang are giving their 250 active members new rules to target informants, witnesses, federal agents, and prosecutors. This nearly five-year investigation came to a head in July following the murder of Leroy Lucero, a.k.a. Smurf, a former SNM member who became a government witness. Agents believe SNM orchestrated the hit and killed him in his Las Vegas driveway. <laughs> following the hit, agents determined there were other active murder threats and went searching for evidence. One of the first places they did today was at the Albuquerque home of Greg Montoya, or Jinx. Agents say he and shotgun Raul Guzman, also of Albuquerque, are the guys now telling members to, quote, smash any government rat on sight. In Las Vegas, they also searched the home of Luis Sanchez, who allegedly shot at the home of a former member and said, if you call the cops, we'll come back and kill you. The nearly 200-page warrant outlines dozens of other examples of members selling drugs and making threats. Like in 2016, when agents got a hold of the gang's green light list, ordering hits on several NMCD employees, jail staff members, and cooperating defendants. Today's search was part of an ongoing investigation and effort to chip away at New Mexico's largest prison gang. So far, this operation has resulted in 127 arrests and has solved nine cold case murders in the state. The FBI says the operation is still ongoing. Dean. All right, Brittany, thank you. A great number of the people arrested today have been charged with being a felon in possession of a firearm. At this point, it is unclear what other charges they may face or what evidence was collected. On this episode of Albuquerque Gangland, we'll be profiling the prison group. Sindicato de Nuevo Mexico or the Syndicate of New Mexico. These guys are a deadly and orchestrated prison group that started in the late 1980s after the prison riots in Santa Fe. You know, these guys were constructed and built in the image and in the form of the, Mex the California Mexican Mafia. With couples and regimes and you know different levels and stuff like that very organized very silent you know you don't hear much from them um, these guys are the original you know New Mexico prison gang you know just as the Laeme is for California these guys are that for um, you know for New Mexico they represent the 505 they represent the uh, SNM, these are a bunch of their members here. Some of the tattoos they get right here, like the Zia symbol, you know, with the S in it here, you know, pictures of some of their guys here. They have all different ages, you know, they have members out on the streets. But again, they are a prison gang orchestrated on inside the streets, inside the prison walls. Some of their uh, enemies are going to be the Burqueños, which is a newer group. Formed in the mid 90s and 2000s, which is orchestrated of members straight from uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's going to be one of their biggest enemies there. Also, El Sears, which stands for Los Carnales, and Sureños. That was the big war, you know, because those were the big feuds going on in the New Mexico Department of Corrections, you know, in the early 90s, mid 90s. With these guys being involved in does uh, S and M tattoos here, Albuquerque is their city that they ran for many years, and just like many, you know, being well on top, 
They're well hated. Again, Sindicato de Nuevo Mexico, the old guard of New Mexico. Some members here, you know, some photos of some guys. Most of them you see here are level sixes, are in level sixes or in serving life. Some of the weapons they like to use here are homemade, you know, weapons here. Again, these guys, no joke. They've been, as you saw in the news clip in the beginning there, orchestrated in many murders, cold case files, murders of judges, extortion, payments of judges, sheriffs, murders of guards, and informants. They also have connections to all types of cartels as far as drugs are concerned. Albuquerque homegrown gang here. Sindicatos de Nuevo Mexico. Prison gang level one security threat, threat group. <laughs> 